Welcome to part four. Oh yeah, I love this puzzle room. Yeah, uh, I have heard there is an achievement uh, for using only blue portals for the whole entire game. Really? Which means that you have to, I mean not using, but I mean only going through a blue portal. Oh, so okay. I've heard the way to do that for this room is you would hit this, go through it, we, awesome. we turn that blue into a, a um, oh, oh, no, I'm not saying this, right, uh, I, I'm doing it the wrong way, I would have to hit, turn the orange, the blue ones back into orange, no, what am I saying, I'd have to shoot an orange one at the top, which would erase my blue one, and then I'd have to make a new blue one, so it's like, yeah. you have to do double portals, so you, you, you would make the orange one at the top, hit the blue at the bottom, then you come out an orange one, so then you make another orange one at the top, hit the blue at the bottom, so you gotta go, two portals shooting at the same time each time but I tried that I did the whole game with only going to blue portals and I didn't get any achievement so I called first there was a I was watching brain scratch comms and there were a couple of achievements that were claimed on that uh, their, on their playthrough of this and I tried two of them and neither of those claims fell through to into any portal achievements so they lied to me they lied to me it's like finding out Santa Claus isn't real what are you talking about you're right, well, my dad's crazy job. <laughs> my parents would never lie to me. He, he's best friends with Hanukkah Harry. Oh, right, All right, yeah. When you are done, That's a really good superhero name. In the equipment recovery annex. And, oh, yes, this is the last experiment room. Require More or less, isn't it? To be Memories of the times that we shared. Me and GLaDOS. We ate cake and we laughed and we cried and we left here alive. Memories. You know, I'm, I'm beginning to think that that's not an actual song in this game. It is in my heart. No, oh, well, that's what matters. Boing, 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 how things just bouncing back and forth. Gotcha. You stupid green ball. Who taught you to be green? I don't know, man. I'm most excited about this cake that she's been talking about this whole time. I'm fucking pumped. I'm peckish. Dude. As the British say. They do say it. They say a lot of things. But sometimes it all sounds like garbly glarb. Dude. No way. British people sound awesome. I would have a British accent if I could, but I'm stupid. I like also the British accent, too. Here we go. Cake time. It's on the, it's on the wall. There it is. Boom. I want to turn you real. It's now over. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this is my favorite part in the game. Yeah, it is. Not my favorite line, but my favorite part. Oh yeah, totally. Really cool soundtrack part of it too. Oh god. Yeah, Portal isn't a, a game much for music, other than you know the end, the credits and stuff. It, a lot of it's more ambient, absolutely right. But I, I really like this track though for some reason. Glados, uh, it's getting a bit hot. Could you maybe turn the furnace off? Glados. Something. Um. I think I found another exit. Is it right if I just take that? Cause I'm getting a bit uh, heated there. Did I do good? What are you doing? Stop it! <laughs> love that, love that voice. I'm pleased that you made it through the final challenge where we pretended we were going to murder you. And this is when the game gets fucking awesome, like it wasn't already. Oh, you know what? I, I'm wondering which is my favorite line. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a probably a tie between one line that comes up later mm -hmm. and one at the very end. I I will, I will highlight the two lines that I'm referring to when we get to them. But I think I know the one you're talking about for the end, though. <laughs> if you do, then yeah. kudos. I, I think I I can imagine. There, well, there's a lot of very memorable lines, but there's a couple towards the end that are just. What happened? Oh! Ah, it burns so good. Oh. Game. Oh, what are you doing? Round two. There we go. Stupid poles, pipes, circular things that have been cut into pieces. You know you can actually get up the staircase before it falls? I've done it once. Oh really? I've not tried. That's the portal thing. It's gonna be the patience. third time. Oh, that's like the first door we've actually went through in this game. Sounds like a good idea, GLaDOS, but um, I'm actually just going to try something else. It's, it's uh, I'm going to keep going. So, I love that. Assume the party position. Oh, man. 
Yeah, freaking game is so good. God. Hello? Uh, uh, oh, oh, there, hey, go. Oh. There we go, now we're good. This room killed me the most. Yes, it's kind of. I, I didn't realize scary. it for the longest time. The reason it kept killing me is I put the portal at the top there. Uh -huh. I try and jump, jump out. Not realizing I'm hitting the ceiling. Oh, sh. And I probably have bet that happened to everyone. You're supposed to put the portal lower so that when you when you jump out, you don't hit the ceiling. This is not something I realized for a while, so I just kept jumping and dying and jumping and dying and jumping and dying. Oh, made it that time. Oh, here we yes, go. Yes. That's my preference. Which I didn't get at first because I didn't play Half-Life 2. Oh, man. There's really no mention of the place being called They're so good. The Half-Life games are so good, man. Have you played them since? No, I haven't oh, bought Half-Life 2. Dude, and I never had any money. Well, honestly, if you played Half-Life 2 and then you played Episode 1 and Episode 2, you would be fucking angry at everything. Because, like I said earlier, Episode 2 ends on such a cliffhanger, and it's been like it's six years. The first one ends on. What's up? Can't be more of a cliffhanger than the first one. Half-Life 1? Yeah. Um, it's just where you're just, you're, you're, you're like, you're on the planet, you kill the guy, and then you're just in, like, some kind of train with G-Man saying, good job, Freeman. Um, right. Like, and then it's like, and then it just ends. Dude, I, I won't you remember. I won't, I won't say anything because I don't want to ruin it, but it is nothing like that, I can assure you. Is it <laughs> more disappointing than that? Uh, well, no. Uh, well, uh, well, there is no. That's the thing. Is no it as equally yet. as disappointing as I guess what my I'm saying? Well, there is no conclusion yet. It's it's a cliffhanger, so. Yeah, but I'm saying like Half Life One itself. Right. Ended on a cliffhanger, but sometimes you end on a cliffhanger, <laughs> and it's an open cliffhanger where would... you could see where the story could go. And sometimes it ends on a cliffhanger where you have no idea what just happened. Half-Life well, 1, it's like, you play the whole game and then all of a sudden aliens, and then game ends, and G-Man's just there, and you're just on a train or whatever because he teleported, and it's just like, you're black in the black mesa or whatever, and it's just like, and it just ends. Well, that's ha not Before so Half-Life 2 came out, who knew what the hell they, they did? What just happened? That's that's not okay, quite the same as a cliffhanger, though. An abrupt ending like that, it's not quite the same. Um, by the time you... Nation as to the events. Well, by the time you play through Half-Life 2... That's a bonus of you what you're suggesting is a cliffhanger where did Gordon Freeman die? Will Batman well, get out of his cage? Will Robin ever learn to, to use his air, hair conditioner? Find out all these questions and more in the next episode of Batman. No, it's, it was. It, I can assure you, it's definitely not a cliffhanger in that sense because it's. They do just straight play out. Play out. Say he's placed into stasis, uh, which means that it's just like a like a time holding thing where time doesn't pass until mm -hmm. well, Half Life Two rolls I, around. I've been in stasis. I know. <laughs> so it's. So no, I wouldn't call. The I'm end actually of Half Life One. So. Um, but by the time you played through Half Life Two and Episode One and Episode Two, a whole buttload of stuff has happened. It's, Pretty much nothing like a Half-Life 1 as far as setting and storyline is concerned. The only real constant, if you call it that, is G-Man. Um, and even he is a tremendous variable in the whole thing. In fact, episode, well, no, I, I, like I said, I, I don't want to say anything as I don't want to ruin it for you. It, it is a true... I'll probably play it eventually. You really should, which is why I don't want to ruin anything. It's an excellent series. And I, like, I, I know that before you, <laughs> I know before you were saying that it wasn't really all that favorable, but I don't know, man, if, if you pl at least play through it, I think you'll agree that it really needs a, at least conclusion. Don't leave us hanging like this, Valve. We're dying over here. <laughs> it's been like six years. I think the gap in between half- I believe this is the room where if you get the radio from this room and bring it really far along in the game, you can actually make ha a portal crash. Oh, I have a video of it on my channel. You you have to you have to take this radio, mm -hmm. and then I believe with that, it's all about getting it to the to the loading screen, right? I believe, and I don't know where the trigger point is, but it's even even if you take it into a certain area, I don't even bring it with you into the loading screen, it'll still crash. So I don't know where you have to get it to, but I know that like um, it, after this room, the next loading screen I believe is when you have to go down the square, sh like you go on, you're jumping on tubes. Mm -hmm. And then you end up jumping down this square hole, which brings you to like a sewery kind of level. Um, if the radio gets brought in there, that crashes the game. Really? I, I think it's that. this is the area where that will happen. Uh, I'll see if I'm right. If it is, the, uh, I've shown you where the radio is, and 
you'd have to bring it away. Because I, I remember I was trying to bring the radio along with me. I don't remember what it, I was trying to get to like an emancipation chamber. So I was just trying to bring it as far as I could, and then all of a sudden the game crashed. I was like, what? Hmm. Because you're that. not supposed to bring it that far or something, and it was trying to load. I guess I think it's kind of it was trying to load the game with an entity that wasn't supposed to be there. Oh, um, it's hard to say. I don't know. I, I had not heard of this. It sounds like it's certainly possible to bring the radio. Maybe they just didn't expect them to. The By the way, I always wondered. Um, I, like I wish I could get this game into third person mode because I've always wondered: Does Shell have an animation for when she gets crushed, or is it just you die but Shell's still just standing there through the ceiling? I, I really can't say. Because, you know, you they don't ex intend you to see any animations they would put into Shell. But right. are they there? Even though you can't see them, I wonder if they're there. Because I believe when you drown, Shell collapses. But I'm wondering, what happens when you get crushed? Is it also heard collapsing? I can't say. I know it's the same thing with Half-Life and Half-Life 1, where, like, since you never really see anything other than that first person view, you don't know what your character does when they die. Um, yeah, Half-Life had... Half had a console, though, that you could get into, and you could turn Freeman's, uh, your view, into third person. Oh, I didn't know that. I'd done that before. Okay. Um, Did they have a model for it? Yeah, yeah, you, had, you were Gordon Freeman. And they had a character model? That's cool. Oh, yeah. That's oh. why I wonder, like, especially because they intend you to be able to see Shell in this game. Mm -hmm. I just wonder if they bothered to make a... You know, like a, a crushed animation or, or something for that. Yeah, this is the area. So if you had brought that radio that we had earlier all the way over here, kept it with you, you know, let's say placed it down this pipe, put these portals, picked it up again from there, jumped into here, not di uh, avoided death like an idiot. <laughs> oh, I think this is the line. Is this the line? Or maybe we missed it. Maybe well, I wasn't okay. paying attention. Well, here to get. She's, she, I think she's like, remember that time when I uh, uh, I tried to murder you, and then uh, I pretended like it, I wasn't trying to murder you. Oh, we had some good times, you know. <laughs> the one where where she's like, remember that time where like you're gonna die, and you were like, no way, and I was like, just kidding. Ha ha ha. Yeah, ha. it's like that oh, one. Oh boy. Anyways, this is the loading screen. If you brought the radio this far, when you go into that load, you'll crash the game. I did not know that. Yeah, but that, that's one of my favorite lines in the game, the one she had earlier. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm sure the audience saw it, but it was, yeah, it's one where she, she reminisces about the time she uh, the, when the experiments ended and she tried to put you in the fire, basically, and she tried to murder you. I just I thought it was so funny. It was, it was like how desperate she, uh, GLaDOS is to, to convince you she's good. Yeah, even after she tried to murder you and then admits it and tries to spin it differently. like. Oh yeah, she gets progressively more anxious the further you get in the game, trying to convince her, like, you're going the wrong way, you're not even, you don't even know where you're going. Like, trying to save face for... It's really funny too. I've seen, like, when Brain Scratch comes, when I watch their playthrough of this, they're so, the guy who played it is so careful, he plays it, like, never getting hit. So, like, he'll put the portals perfectly for the, the turrets, he'll take his time, wait and wait and wait. I'm like, I don't care, I just grab a barrel, run into a friggin' portal. And, d and knock them down. Like, I'm not afraid of these turrets. And plus, I think you you regenerate health, don't you? Oh, yeah. Since there, there is no health bar, obviously. So it just this kind of and Left 4 Dead kind of started that whole thing. Maybe Call of Duty a bit, but... Well, Left 4 Dead, you do have a health bar. And, it and like, you need health packs to replenish it. Um, I don't know, I, I think... Uh, I'm... Left 4 Dead... Maybe it's uh, Call of Duty or something. I'm one of those games. Yeah, Call of Duty does have a pretty uh, and, and you know, it's a cool concept, but I kind of am annoyed because now that's all they ever use, all those FPSs. There is no health anymore in really modern day FPSs. It's all... But you got hit six times, seven kills you, but you only got hit six. Wait three seconds and you're good again. You know, like... Well, it depends give on... Give me a experience. fucking health bar! <laughs> well, it depends on the series. Obviously, in the case of, like, Call of Duty, yeah, they, they tend to stick with the... Regenerative health bar, but there's plenty of modern series that don't. So it's it's not all of them. It's the really popular one. One of the really popular series does, which is kind of a well, pain. I'm not I'm a big gonna fan. say it's all of them, and I'm gonna be stubborn. So <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the regenerative health. I think for Portal, it it it's decent. I mean, it's for one thing, it's one less thing to have to worry about. The cake is still a lie. The cake is still a lie. I know with that previous room where you had to 
I saw that you had actually just shot around that little claw thing. I remember that actually. That, that was I was another. stuck in this room for a bit. I didn't know what to do. Yeah, there, there are a couple spots where I get stuck, and looking back, I think to myself, I was a freaking idiot. I mean, I still think I'm an idiot, but you know. Aren't we all idiots? No, no, just you. No, just, just me. I'm special. My mom always told this me. This is the other room Brain Scratch lied to me about. Nope. But we'll see that in part five. <laughs> oh, that was that. Mighty part. conclusion. All right, silence to go.